All right, in this, re this video, we're going to look at some of the reports generated by or available via QuickBooks. So a couple ways to get to the Report Center. Uh, the one I use the most often is right here on the menu. Go to Reports and Report Center. Or there is a button right here on the toolbar. If you know directly which report you want, you can actually go straight to an individual report. But let's start with Report Center so you can look at the variety that QuickBooks offers. Now for about anything you could think of, there's probably a report that is very close. So you can look at the various cat categories here. So sales, you can see what types of reports are available by sales, banking, your reconciliations, deposits. Uh, you can go to forecast and it gives you a little thumbprint for each of these. So let's go ahead and go to sales. Oops and then go to sales by customer detail. So let's go ahead and run that. You can either just double click on it or click on run. And you notice it automatically runs with certain defaults. So we can go ahead and change that, but let's go, so let's change it from month to date to fiscal year to date. And let's actually go to customize. So I've I went to customize and that's changed. Let's change some of the columns. So I'm going to remove memo. I'm just going to scroll down until I find it. And I'm just going to uncheck that. And we're going to add one for paid. And it is towards the end. There we go. That's the hard part, finding them. And that looks pretty good. Let's go to filters. Uh, we don't need to set anything there. Let's go to header and filter. And let's take off these last three. We can then go and uh, determine how we would like our layout. So I just changed that. And let's go to fonts and numbers. We want to show our negative numbers. Uh, we'll put it in parentheses. I will also put it in red, and we can show it without sense. Uh, let's go ahead and change a font. So let's go to column labels and click on change font. And let's select a size 9 and change the color. I'm going to make it something uh, maybe not quite as fun as usual. I'll make it blue and click OK. And I'm going to say no to all related fonts. If I said yes, it would actually change the entire report to blue. So I clicked OK. And let's go ahead and look at the report. So it moved the header over here. We still have the same information. Um, let's say that's exactly how I want it to look. I can't say it's my favorite, but we'll pretend for now. So let's go click on Memorize. And we're going to just add behind it Customize. <clears throat> and I'm going to save it into a report group. And let's put it under Customers. And click OK. All right, so let's go ahead and close this window. And so if we want to find this report, we can either go to Reports, Memorized Reports, Customers, and we can see it there. Or if we're already in the Report Center, we just go to the Memorize tab, Customers, and there's our report. So we can go ahead and run it now. So that's how to run some reports and to make changes and modify your own report in QuickBooks. All right, next we're going to, in the next video, write a QuickBooks check.